Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about the use mutation hook in React uh, for Apollo and GraphQL. So I already have something set up here. Um, you're going to see we have a list over here. It's just listing uh, a couple restaurants that are in, actually in my database right now. Um, and then I have used use query to pull this data in right here. So uh, if, if you're not familiar with use query, I, I put out a video last week just going over base, the basics of how it works and everything. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on the use mutation hook. So everything's mostly pre-set up here from a display standpoint, um, showing the data, all that stuff. Um, but the first thing we're going to have to do is pull in the use mutation um, hook. And that's going to be in your at Apollo slash React hooks library. If you want to install that, you would do uh, npm in install at Apollo slash React dash hooks. Um, so let's build a mutation here. So we're going to just do delete today. Um, but with just showing you how it works, you'll understand how to use it for your updates um, as well. So when you're building a mutation um, for the front, it's the same as the mutation you have in the back. The, the difference here between the query one is we get a, we're gonna have to provide some kind of variables um, in this one to, <clears throat> to identify what restaurant we're trying to delete. So let's build this mutation right here. We're gonna wanna say, we're gonna feed it an ID. So dollar sign ID is, is just our, our placeholder for our variable in the actual mutation right here. And we're gonna do delete restaurant and where ID and then give it that placeholder. Um, and then I'm gonna return back uh, the ID, the name, and the state, which is the the same information that I'm, I'm getting right here when I'm querying it. Um, we're, we're not going to do much with this in this video, um, but I'm just pulling some information back. So let's go down here and let's make our delete button work. Uh, first thing, we got to build the the function for the use mutation. So if you notice the use query um, hook takes curly braces in the in the front and wraps around the the things that it returns. For the use mutation, it's brackets, and we're gonna provide the mutation here. And inside of these brackets, you're gonna want to put the first thing that you're gonna want to put is the name of the function, uh, the name of the mutation function that you're gonna call inside your code to actually perform the mutation. So we're just gonna call it delete restaurant. And you can get back the same stuff you get over here, data loading and error, let's double check. If you use mutation, this is the docs for um, for React hooks. So you can get back the same stuff: data loading error. You can get back a boolean called called, which basically tells you that it's it's been called, um, and you can pull an instance of the client as well, Apollo client. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're not going to be using any of that stuff right now. So now we got to make this, this is set up, this is a function and when we call this function, it, it will do exactly what we needed to do. It will delete a restaurant from the list. Um, so inside of our, my loop here for the list, my button, I'm going to add an on click. And then from here, we're just going to fire delete 
restaurant. Now, we do have to provide variables because it's not going to know what restaurant it has to delete. And the variables is an object. So let's open up the function parentheses. Inside of here, curly braces, put the variables. And the variable that we're providing is the key is the ID. And the name in this case is food.id. So that's our variables right there um, in our function call. And if I save this, it should actually, it should work. So let's test this out. One thing you're gonna notice is when I click on, on to delete an item from this list, you're not gonna see it deleted from the list in the front because we have to do something else for that. It's just doing the mutation. It's not doing any um, any re-rendering or anything on the front. So you're, your list is still going to look the same, but when you refresh, it's gone. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, but let's go to Domino's. Delete. I don't have any errors. Uh, let's query my restaurants again down here in the console. Oops. And if you look through the list, you'll see that there is no Domino's. It's gone. So it has been deleted, but it's still on the screen. What's up with that? So now if we refresh, it's gone from there. So now I'm going to show you um, how, to, how, to make it, how to make it go away when you delete it. Um, and the use mutation hook has all these really cool functions that you can use with it. Um, basically, the one that we're going to use today is going to be uh, ref refetch queries. This is um, exactly what it says. It's a function that allows you to specify which queries you want to refetch after a mutation has occurred. So the place for that would be after the, the query, after the mutation, um, open up a set of curly braces. And in here, we're going to do refetch queries. Now this takes the, um, the mutation result as, an, um, as a parameter, but we're not gonna be using it. And then it opens up into an array with an object inside where it's query, and you identify the query that you wanna use. In our case, we wanna refetch the restaurants. We wanna get a new version of the restaurants without that list item and what it, what this will do is it'll refetch it and it will it will re-render the the list and and your item will be gone so let's try this again let's get rid of something else and you can put multiple queries in here too by the way um, just add a comma and add another query okay so we should be good to go so let's get rid of papa john's now Seems like we're getting rid of all the pizza places. And there you go. Papa John's goes away. Because it it made a call back to the server and, and got the new um, set of data. So if we look in our console here. It's, it, it's doing the mutation and it's coming back and it, it's doing the query. And that's how you manipulate your data on the front. You could do that when you're updating something as well. And uh, I think that wraps it up. Um, this documentation is incredible. You can use a lot of these queries um, on completed, on error, um, is a good one for catching errors that, but that, are, uh, that happen from the mutation. If there's a function you wanna fire, as soon as the mutation's done, you could do on completed. You can also access the client here um, one thing we're going to get into in, in the future, uh, really soon, is is the local state, and you're going to want to you're going to be using this update a lot to update your local state. Um, but that's that's all I have for you today. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Your feedback means everything to me. And I'll see you in the next one.